This is the final wireframe that we ended up using for the game Unstoppable that I developed using the uh, Marvel prototyping software. Uh, as you can see, there's credits here with obvious filler names. The quit option with confirmation of destruction action. And the the main focus being the play button. So we weren't able to develop this screen in the final product of the game, but our goal was to create uh, a player select screen that would allow people to join in using pressing either a certain key or a button on their controller and uh, in a previous version we also tried to aim to have the player able to choose which colors they played but in the final version uh, I decided to remove that because uh, our tech was running a bit behind and I didn't believe we had time to implement that so then our level select screen was pretty simple uh, we just allowed a player to pick which level they wanted with it expanding and getting highlighted to indicate which one it was. For the wireframe I only made two of them selectable here. And then for uh, the main game screen I mostly just cobbled together something that vaguely resembled what our game looked like for the sake of the wireframe. Uh, this HUD uh, was not exactly what our final one looked like uh, but this wireframe ended up being largely unimplemented due to some restrictions with our tech team and some certain other mechanics that were running behind and the pause menu if i was to redo this wireframe now i would certainly uh probably chill out a bit with some of the color variety on these buttons. As you can see, it's a little bit all over the place with green and blue, and purple and red. Uh, it's, it's definitely too much. Uh, I included a how to play option here, which labels all the controls. I went through several different wireframes or prototype images of this how to play screen, trying to find a one that looks the cleanest and easiest to read, uh, and this was the final one I settled on. You can also access the credits from here. You can go back to level select or main menu. And if the match was complete, this was the victory screen uh, that we wanted to implement. Having the first player show up here, uh, second player, and then the third and fourth would show up respectively here with gold, silver, bronze, and then I suppose rusted copper. Uh, and then there's the options to rematch, putting you back in there, or return to level select or main menu. And that was pretty much it for this wireframe. Uh, this final version that, uh, I had was a lot slimmer than the versions we previously had. Although I can't show it in action because uh, the way Marvel works, unfortunately, the old wireframing that I had uh, isn't very playable because it will instead take you to the various new screens I had. And I also spent quite a while on the options menu uh, trying to develop different ways for that that made it easy to read uh, I had a total of 15 different option menus that I tested with different people uh, having a gameplay visual and audio section having sections that uh, were boxed, trying different ways of being either vertical or being horizontal, colored boxes or colored text or non-colored colored text, 
the variants typically weren't extremely different. Obviously, some of these options too were kind of jokes and filler for uh, potential options we could have. And that's pretty much it for my unstoppable wireframe.